Hi, my name is Ramey Growing Thunder. I'm from the Fort Peck Indian Reservation in northeastern Montana. I want to share a little bit about my beadwork today. Behind me, you'll see my bag. So what I have here is a, a antique doctor bag, and it's beaded on both sides. There's the female rider, and there's the male rider. And he's holding the Calvary flag that's in distress, and it's called Victorious Ride, simply meaning we still have our ways of life after the Battle of Greasy Grass. Um, I have a couple of my other pieces here on the wall and I wanted to share a little bit about my son Wambidi. Uh, he's carrying on the ways. This is his drawing right here and he's 16 years old and he's got a couple pieces here and in fact the bag here in the middle this one here is his work too so he also does bead work and he had a parflesh bag um, that he luckily sold yesterday. He was pretty happy about that. So I'm going to pass the mic to my husband now. Hello, my name is Daryl Growing Thunder. I'm from the Fort Peck Reservation as well in northeast corner of Montana, uh, Dakota, Nakota lineage. And my dad is from the Suquamish tribe in Washington. I've uh, been doing ledger art for well over 35 years now and we've been coming to Indian Market for close to 17 years and my family's been here probably close to 40 years um, it's really a, a great way of life being an artist and fortunate and, and grateful to be able to share it with you know my family and carry you know teach it to my children and and really proud, in fact, that my, my son's picking it up really well and he's taking up ledger art and the beadwork. So it's really nice to be able to see the future generations carry on this style of art. Um, it, it's really important, you know, it's, it's, it serves to uh, provide some of the identity we need as, as Native people. And really important for the, the children to understand, you know, their identity and, and where, they're come, where they come from. And so, um, it's a big part of our culture, our, our arts, so it's really nice and, and uh, good to see that the, the children, you know, pick up the, the styles of art and the culture and, you know, not just with the artwork, but with singing and dancing and, and uh, different forms of our culture, so, um, and really happy to be able to share this and, and carry on this, this uh, way of life through Indian Art Market and Swaya and the different art markets across uh, Indian country and in the United States, you know, with my wife and, and my children. It gives us an opportunity to travel and see different parts of the country and eat really good food and, and just really love coming here every year. So we look forward to it. It's a big part of our life. And so it's always a pleasure to, to watch our children, you know, pick up the arts and, and progress, you know, and takes a lot of encouragement on the parts of the parents you know to you know sometimes the children don't want to really do it or anything like that but we have to encourage them to carry on and stress the importance you know of our, our styles of art you know for us being where Dakota Nakota this is our, our style of the northern plains in northeast corner of Montana and it, it, it helps to serve as a preserving our identity as, as such and so um, really fortunate to, to be here and to share the art with the public and people here in, in the southwest as well too so um, but with that I want to say thank you and and hopefully we'll see you again next year how could people get a hold of you if you have a website or... uh, for myself my wife I know we're both on Facebook and my wife is uh, Instagram and Instagram. Uh, um, my Instagram is our growing thunder and you can just simply look up our name Daryl growing thunder or Ramey growing thunder and we're both on there and we post our artwork there and our son is on uh, Facebook too and his name is Wambadi GT on Facebook thank you thank you